to Peru! I just showed up to Lauren's. All packed up. Lauren's finishing to pack up. Almost ready. Um, Lauren's feeling a little bit under the weather. I threw up twice. And we're headed to the airport. Are you excited? So excited. Made it to the airport. <sighs> we did. Lauren has all of her things. Half of it I've been eating for an hour. Gatorade. Pepto. And yeah, all that cost me $20 because airport prices. We made it on our flight. We have about five and a half hours yeah. until we get to Peru. We were going to sleep and watch the Emperor's New Groove, and we were lucky and got the whole road to ourselves. So, uh, really happy girls! a little tour of our hotel in Lima. We didn't get much footage after we got off the plane because we both got sick. I threw up about four more times and Lauren threw up once as well. So we just decided to get some dinner and go to bed because we had a flight the next day to Cusco. So this is about all we did for the rest of the night in Lima. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, last night was a little rough. Got really sick on the plane and just came back to our hotel and swept. But we're officially in Peru. Officially in Peru, made it to Lima. Made it to Lima, and today it's like 6.30 right now. Yeah, we're gonna eat some breakfast, we're gonna get on another flight, the last one for a few days, and then we're gonna go to Cusco and adjust to the altitude and start our journey. So yeah, catch up with you then. Bye. to our hotel and now Cusco. we are out and about trying to scavenger for food. Scavenge. <laughs> what did you order? I got an alpaca burger with sweet potato chips. How does it taste? Crunchy? And we got this lemonade, ginger lemonade. And I got potatoes topped with ceviche. Take a bite. Happy camper.
And we were very big targets. Um, it was fun until some of the water balloons hurt, but yeah, the water balloons hurt. Somebody came up and just like put their hands on our faces. Weird with this purple stuff. I was not expecting that. Got in my mouth. Don't know what it is. Um, happy carnival. <laughs> Bar count. <laughs> look at the snow. Oranges yacked. And look at this little pupster. We're thriving. She acted a lot yesterday. It, it did. was my turn. We showered. We're dry. We're drying off all of the stuff. Everything is soaked. It's soaking. The only problem is our shoes are soaked too. So hopefully I don't need those soon. Yeah. But we're gonna go to a grocery store, buy some sneaky snacks with our Peruvian monies. It's called a soul. Called a soul. Yeah. Our souls. With our souls. Hey, Pop. We managed to get all our snacks. Pizza. Pizza. Ice cream. Snacks. Water. Not unscathed though, we got ambushed again. Got a shower again. Third shower of the day. But we're about to eat ice cream, so. It's fine. It's fine. Mom, I threw up. Did you eat too much ice cream? Yeah, it was all chocolate. Oh. We're both in our Nestle palettes and we are watching the Super Bowl in Spanish. Keep all of our clothes. That got soaking wet, hanging up drying. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Same. <laughs> Good morning. Day three of being in Peru. Hey. What's on the agenda for today? Going to Mara Samore, which is the salt flats and the indented agricultural area. But right now we're just gonna go get some breakfast. It's like 7.30. And yeah, we have a bus that's picking us up at eight. Can't wait. See you later. What just happened? Food on the stairs. Yeah, I had a bag, so it was fine. We ended up taking a pit stop in Chinchiro at one of the alpaca textile dyeing and weaving centers and there they showed us a demonstration on how they used to use different earthly elements to dye the alpaca fur which was super interesting and informative. What did you get? I got a baby alpaca. Yeah. Little alpaca. So cute. Okay, so currently 
at Morai. Morai. And it's these, what are they called? Vegetation circles? Yeah. Cute! Test out the, the steps. Pretty sturdy? Pretty sturdy. How are you feeling? Great. You need some water? My lung capacity is great. <laughs> you want me to carry your backpack? Maybe. Can you just carry me? Just hop on my back. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> So we just finished touring Morai, and we are off to the salt mines. Maras. Maras. We made it to the salt mine. Salt flats. Salt flats. It's sunny. It's and very warm. sunny. Oh, look! So cool. So much salt. That's some fat stacks of salt. Or so they say. Or so they say. And that warehouse right there, filled with salt. I got some ice cream. About to head back to um, the hotel in Cusco. Cusco. We made it back to the hotel. We are gonna go find some food, do a little shopping. We're gonna have to pack back up because we spend a night in Machu Picchu. Yeah, in Aguas Calientes. And we might have to go find somewhere to get laundry done because all our clothes are soaked from yesterday. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Lauren figuring our lives out while wow. I hold a sack of dirty laundry. Soaking wet dirty laundry. Cute! up our fresh laundry it was like three bucks to get it all washed which is such a good deal yeah and we took a shower and we gotta get up and leave by 4 50 in the morning so, so we're it's going to bed 6 p.m early. now we're going to bed good night. good night good morning it's the middle of the night technically yeah it's about 3 30 in the morning day four of our peru trip Today on the agenda, we're headed to Machu Picchu. And how are we getting there? We're taking a van to the train to the bus. So it's about a four hour journey and we're spending the night. So we'll have another hotel when we get there. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get to explore a little town mm -hmm. called Aguas Calientes and spend the night, explore the town again tomorrow and then come back here. But look how sunburned my nose is. She got fried yesterday. I wore sunscreen, I swear. Has 
also been this bad since I was in Australia and they have a whole hole in their ozone layer. Damn, not the ozone layer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all later. made it to the train station and we have about 30 minutes before our train leaves. Yep. So we're just gonna hang out. made it to our hotel. Aguas Calientes. And it's really cute. We'll give a little room tour. And we're about to take the bus, like 30 minutes up to Machu Picchu or Inca City. And we're gonna have a little tour. See you then. Work. On the way to Machu Picchu. It's a light granite Just area because millions of Made it to Machu Picchu. We found llamas. Look at those llamas. <laughs> What just happened? You got busted for doing a cartwheel. <laughs> we did a cartwheel and Machu Picchu. Um, the guards did not like that. Turn that way. We secretly still have the footage. Find some aloe for Lauren's face. 
You look like a rat. <laughs> Bird rat. <too. laughs> We're back from our rainy adventure and we have a haul. We got two crepes. Oh, that looks delicious. This one, which is an Oreo crepe. And we got this one which is jamon y queso. Finally got a picture frame I've been looking for. Nowhere sells picture frame. Uh, we both got little bikinis because we're, we've are we decided we're going to the hot springs tomorrow. So we got some cute little keens. Cute, cute. I got a little hat for my alpaca that I've named Yzma. And I'm gonna put this on her head and make her a Christmas ornament. And then we got some playing cards as a souvenir for one of our friends. So yeah, we're going to enjoy our crepes now. Maybe watch a movie, hang out, and then go to bed early because we're gonna wake up early and go to the hot springs and then get a massage. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So loud because of the construction, but today is day five of our Peru trip. We woke up to chimes, yeah, a lot there. of chimes at like 7:55. Yeah. And then no place has breakfast and it's like 9 a.m. So yeah. we're gonna go to the hot springs. Get some food after. Yeah. And then get a massage. Fun! massage and one of them was great yes mine was really good one of them not so much hers was not that good it is what it is happy valentine's day <laughs> we've got the cute little heart-shaped cheesecake and what is this a lemon pie looks so yum and then our hot chocolates of course Before they said and go right now I pay the price. 
back to Cusco and uh, Lauren is feeling the altitude change. I'm gonna turn into a lobster and not a llama. Damn it! I hate it when that happens. But it's like 8 p.m. and we're pretty tired. So we're we'll probably gonna scavenger for some food and then go to bed because we have to get up at like 3 tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Rainbow Mountain. You got your hat for Yzma? Mm -hmm. We love her. We love Yzma. <laughs> She's perfect. She's perfect. <laughs> Good morning, day six of Peru. Today we're going to Rainbow Mountain. Yes. It's 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, we just finished getting ready. We have a three hour bus ride ahead of us, but first, breakfast. Finally made it to the bottom of Rainbow Mountain. Yes. And we're gonna get up there by either riding a horse or taking a motorbike. We'll see how expensive each one is and what the vibes are. But we just finished a three and a half hour ride up here on some very narrow roads with very large cliffs at the bottom. But we saw so many llamas and alpacas. So worth it. <laughs> worth it. So. I decided to walk. Lauren decided to take a bike. So I'll catch up with her. So far, so good. There's Lauren on her horse. Life of luxury. At the top of Rainbow Mountain. Mount Vinicunca. Remember when that was us? Barely. Do you love it? I love it. And I'm so glad I took a horse. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to carry you. <laughs> we got cold. We did. So we put on an extra layer. But we're about to head down. So here's the last look at the Rainbow Mountain. Then it goes for friends and alpacas on our way down. Yes. We've got quinoa native to the region. And a chicken sandwich. A muffin. An energy bowl. A fruit. Unsure which one. A chocolate. And a cute little bottle open to souvenir. Else can drink? Good day. Finally made it back to our hotel in Cusco. 
we you okay i just i'm such a lobster she got summer in again the plan for us today is go to the markets to get a few more souvenirs that we want and then we might sniff out some food then we have to pack and go to bed early because we have to get up at like we have a 4.45 pickup for our 7.15 a.m. flight back to Lima. So we have to get up like at 3.30. Again! <laughs> and we're exhausted. So we're but going to bed early. It's not like you hiked up a whole mountain today. Why are you so exhausted? I don't know. Maybe I'm iron deficient. Quitter. <laughs> at the airport in Cusco, about to head to Lima for the last um, spot on our trip. Somebody's not feeling very well, and it's not the lobster. Yeah, we're about to get on our flight, so we'll check in in a bit. After we made it to Lima, we kind of just went straight to the hotel room to take a quick nap. I don't know why we always got sick in Lima, but yeah. We finally got up from our nap. And we're gonna go find something to eat and probably just have a chill night. It's a recovery day. It's a recovery day. <laughs> we need it. We made it to a restaurant called Mango's. What did you get? I got ceviche. It's great. And I just got some fruit because I don't feel good. Look, there's a cute little view. And the sunset. Breakfast in bed. Yum. <laughs> Lauren with all her treasures from our trip. Uh, Kronk. <laughs> it's perfect. Last day of our Peru trip. Feeling a lot better today. We get to the airport at 9 p.m.? Yes. So we have some hours to explore. Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the Inca market, maybe get some last day ceviche, quinoa, pisco sours, and hop around the city. And I finally learned my lesson about wearing hats. She decided she didn't want to get sunburned today, so. Cute! <laughs> get some dinner before we head to the airport. Got about four hours to kill, so it's looking a long dinner. Yeah, we're all packed up, so we're good to go. See you when we get back. All the delicious food that we got and our pisco sour. Got it on the last day, finally. So excited. We just finished our delicious dinner and now we are headed to a casino to spend the last of our souls <laughs> before we have to dash to the airport. Fun! Fun. So we just left the casino. We were raging playing success. very recklessly to get rid of our souls, which was technically a raging success. Yeah, we, we, we got, got rid, rid of, of all, all of the souls. <laughs> We just kept going all in because Blindly. we needed to leave because we had to rush back to the hotel to get picked up for the airport. And so I kept going all in and no one would call it. And then eventually someone called it and I didn't win because I had a bad hand, obviously. Um, but yeah, it was, it was fun. fun. <laughs> we made it to the airport. Our flight isn't until 1.15 a.m. Which would be fine, sort of. Except there's no gate. We've been here for an hour waiting for a gate to be announced and it just says scheduled. Which like cool because not delayed or canceled, but like where's our gate? Where do we go? We board in less than an hour. It's past our bedtime. Send help. <laughs> so the good news is we made it on the plane. The bad news is <laughs> Lord is fuming. <laughs> we made it back in one piece by the skin of 
our teeth hanging I'm on ready. by the thinnest of threads. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed the Peru vlog. If you want, you can subscribe and leave some comments on places that we should travel to next. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them. Yep. And all our social links will be in the description. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye.